plan on making this recording for Tim and I to just review our game together, maybe see how we can improve, how we played each other, what strats we used and whatnot. Just all in fun. Uh, this looks like Tim. <clears throat> Tim immediately locked into the elite troops doctrine here. I've got infantry company, heavy cavalry, and airborne. You got a rifle squad. I think pretty early I'm gonna choose heavy cavalry. One thing I've noticed in Tim is you're bypassing uh, all your resource points to come straight to contest the victory point. And while I don't know, while the early victory points are important, like it starts getting you a lead in the actual game, the resource drain, like the resources that you're lacking from not capping those, just gives me such a good early head start. Like you can see right now, you're only getting six munitions compared to my 21, four fuel compared to my 13. I haven't even capped the fuel yet. And even with you coming to cap this now, you're still cut off, so you won't even be gaining those resources till you connect it to your base. Look at that, now I'm gaining <laughs> five times your fuel income already at the start of the game. A capture point is being overrun. And same thing, like you're coming up to contest this part of the map, but the entire southern side down here this is just all open for me to cap just by sending one unit down. Just gain all the more resources. We got a rifle squad waiting for orders. So you're getting around the cover, which is good, but you're also getting close to the riflemen, which the riflemen just go, they do so good up close. That's why I'm melting the squad right here. And unfortunate vault there for you. That sucks when that happens, actually, if I remember right, I do the same thing in just a moment here. Yeah, with this squad right here, I'm pretty sure. I accidentally vault there. <laughs> and you got robbed, I don't think you actually got the squad wipe on that, which... Looks like this to blind the enemy. one was still... So if you had both of them attacking them, you probably would have gotten that squad wipe. We're losing a capture point. Yeah, right now I have double your fuel income. And it's not much more on the uh, munitions, now that you've got stuff connected. We're losing a capture point. And the small things, but maybe if you wanted to hurt me more sooner, you could have actually capped this point first to cut off my fuel. So even though I would have still controlled the point, I wouldn't have even gotten the main resources to it. <laughs> I didn't mean to vault back in there. I didn't realize it happened for a while too. I don't even know how you can vault back in there. It was like. You're stuck there once you do it. Yeah, that's a good engagement for you, where you're in heavy cover and it's long range. You're going to do good at range from what I understand. So now we're equal in our resources, and in our army actually. Sorry, I'm not very good at the camera movement. Heavy truck, waiting for deployment. I'll try to flank you with the uh, captain there. I mean, this guy, if I started concentrating on him, he'd start going down fast, which I should have done. 
this guy left out of the fight for way too long. Yeah, I'm I'm bad at remembering the multitask too. One thing I'm noticing, like this engineer squad, uh, while this is going on, he could be down here capping up points. He's not really involved in the fighting. And then keeping these in the fuel in the field at this point, like I don't know, they're so low health, they're not going to do anything good in engagement. I would just bring them back to base, heal and reinforce them. See things from that perspective here. Yeah, having to push this against three rifleman squads. Like, yeah, he was stunned for a little bit, but then most of these guys were back where they weren't even able to engage. You're capping over here now. That's good. There's all that random negative cover Ready coming through here. I feel like I wish that just wasn't part of the map. Because I don't know why this is negative cover, red cover, but like the road isn't. At least I don't think I noticed it. Yeah, when these guys are crossing the road, there's no points. negative cover. So that's kind of bullshit for you there. But maybe something then that this side of the map would be better to do the engagements on. This right here is probably mud, so that's probably all negative cover. Does this show negative cover if I hover over it? It doesn't. So no no base healing yet. We have so many low health squads. We'll get that base healing going as soon as you can. Not as soon as you can, but in a reasonable time. The same thing with munitions, so many stun grenades, it's, it'd be hard to do the base healing, and you also want to upgrade your weapons and stuff. A capture point is under attack! Crowd infantry! Yes, this isn't negative cover, I don't see any negative cover coming up on those guys. Half track is ready for orders. Upgrade complete. So I got my A half track in at under eight minutes, which is not great timing. But with the fuel, honestly, I probably could have had this like a minute or two earlier if I focused on it. Yeah, look at these two two green squads, almost half health. They're just they're not gonna do great. And this is that bullshit. The red cover coming through there, that shouldn't have been a thing. Overrun. So that does suck. I think it only affects the squads that are actually in that, the individual people that are in that uh, part, not the whole squad when you're in that. Kind of like the green cover, the people that are actually behind green cover will get it. If there's someone off to the side, they won't get it. That's just me speculating. Like, yeah, if nothing else right now, you could be capping with just these two low house squads and then push the higher house squads out to engage. I mean, you don't know that I have a half track over here, but just kind of keeping them grouped together. You have nothing to counter this half track, so I can just bully you with it. Years, and that's going to get even bigger difference. Still no healing. Can you tech down for an AT gun now? Since like I saw pretty much your whole army retreat, that allows me to pretty safely bring out my ambulance and I can do some forward healing and reinforcement of these guys, keep them in the field. But like, if, if you're not going to be building healing, I feel like at least you could be sending these higher health squads out. 
just have them in the field doing stuff, start capping this, take engagements where you can. I can just make you bleed as you come in, try and keep out of range. I think it would take, what, maybe three, three or four fouls to kill this? I'm not really sure. We got a new unit ready and on the field. I've been putting up all these sandbags for heavy cover. Um, you could build a mortar to try and counter that. Like either smoke it as you rush in, so you don't bleed as you come in, or just bombard my position. All sectors, ability now ready. Promotion just came in. So that game is victory points. So like, yeah, you're leading me in the early game. And like, I don't, don't want to make the victory points seem unimportant, because this can really come back to bite you hard later. But just giving me so many resources at the cost of that... I mean, look, I'm getting... <laughs> 50 more munitions almost. And with the rate that you're using your stun grenades and stuff... Granted, I'm not doing anything with my munitions, so that's bad on my part. I could upgrade the weapon racks, get those. Upgrade grenades so I could just toss those at my leisure, bring in my smoke barrages. So whereas I'd say you might be over-utilizing things, I'm We're definitely under-utilizing. I just did something there. Oh, I just, uh, just released a major <laughs> got triple zooks on here, thinking you may have a vehicle out at some point soon. Still no healing base. AT gun, though, that's good. Panzer Shrek, but I haven't seen your AT gun yet. I don't know, I would at least, at least probe with this guy. The engineers, uh, they have longer vision than like normal infantry, so at least as like you come out, you could see me before I see you. How do I get to switch to you? So if you did come out with your engineers, see that I have someone there to counter you, you could just soft retreat, go somewhere else. We have a fresh half track at our disposal. Not have to worry about taking casualty. <laughs> that was really bad driving by me. So here, you see pretty much my whole army retreat. I had, I think, uh, rangers over here that you saw. You know, know that I soft pulled them back, but the bulk of my army retreated. That would be a good time for you to push out at least a little bit with your higher health squads and start capping, taking back the map from me. Got half track out now. I'm guessing you're going to use this for your healing. Which that can be good for definitely the forward reinforcement and healing, but man, healing just takes so long with all these squads, two at a time, and then they're out of action while you're doing it. I guess you can maybe like throw them in there while they heal, come over, just like cap some of these points. Pull double duty on them. <laughs> I got my Sherman here out at 14 minutes. Like, that's gonna be hard to counter with just an AT gun and a Shrek. Again, I know it's hard to tell, like in the fog of war and stuff, that 
This entire half of the map is just uncontested at the moment. Look, I remember that we had our engagement here, so I'm assuming that you're still over here, coming back. And you could attack ground through this. Might not see the shrimp coming. Man, those guys just got shredded. I think that was actually... Did I look at that right? Where it was the weapons that killed them and maybe the tank finished it off? I'll have to watch the whole thing and I wasn't paying attention to that one squad that got wiped. I'd almost say, in hindsight, obviously, hindsight's too much more, but should come into the base rather than try and stand against the Sherman alone on that. Just sitting there in base doing nothing. This guy back here doing nothing. A capture point is being overrun. Crowd infantry! As attack ground or just a miss on it. That was a good attempt, either way. So I feel like with your composition right now, I would have focused on gaining another AT gun rather than pulling in another Stormtrooper squad. Because you just don't have much to counter the Sherman. And I already have a second one on the way. Thanks, but you don't know that with this kind of map control and seeing one on the field already, I would kind of guess that I'd have some sort of other vehicle on the way. Just have so much infantry, but not much to counter vehicle. Let alone two vehicles. That was a risky grenade to try and get off. I'm not sure what all it accomplished to you, because by the time these guys get in close range, we're already unstunned. Finally saying my major out just to keep an eye over here since this has just been uncontested the entire time. Check your ammo. Which looks like I kind of do that just in time here to catch you coming out to cap over there. Put him in heavy cover. Looks like you start pushing everything over this way. We can now deploy a smoke screen to blind the enemy. I see ya. Uh, boom. Sherman's just mobilize. I assume if these guys are coming, I'm assuming once your force will come. So I'm anticipating an AT gun right here. 
Tank support is here. That. Sherman ready. Yeah, with these guys on the high explosive rounds, they'll just go through your infantry. Would you get one Panzer Shrek shot off there? That's the thing, like, they can't even snare, right? After they do it? Yeah, they don't have a snare. Like at this point, I'm pretty idle with my army, but honestly, I think I just didn't really know what to do outside of just pushing to your base. Because literally, the whole map, except for this guy right here. Enemy forces have 100 points remaining. Three Shermans now. And I'm pretty sure this is already close to the GG. M110 smoke strike can be delivered to cover our men. I didn't realize that this was like map you can go through over here. What's that little guy? 50 cals up. Demo charge. That's a heavy machine. Wonder what happens if we put that off. A a little Easter egg on the map. So here's where I finally push your base. Yeah, these guys are just getting to train the push into the top slots. Get far. Yeah, I don't know. Just wanted to point out what things looked like. See if maybe it's helpful to you. I find it helpful to watch these replays and learn from them. I know to you it's probably not that big of a deal. The game's not worth it to do it, but I think it's fun. Anyway, hope that was helpful. See ya.